What's going on, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is Justin Copeland, and on this channel, Stay Fresh Productions, we talk about everything fragrance related, and obviously then some. If you like that kind of content or have an interest in this kind of content, then you're in the right place. You clicked on the right video. Would love for you to stick around, hit that subscribe button so you're subscribed to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video today. I get asked this question a lot, and that is, where do you sample fragrances? I've had people over the years ask me that all the time. Where do you sample your fragrances? Either people hitting me up in my DMs or in comments on the videos. Where do I sample fragrances? There's a lot of places that I've sampled fragrances. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna create a little bit of a series. This is gonna be part one of a series uh, just highlighting a few brands that you can check out that are very great authentic and great reliable places to sample all kinds of niche and designer fragrances. So today we're starting with a brand new fragrance decanting business called Decant X. They're based in Miami, Florida and their owner Shoshana, she is awesome and she has really kind of delved into this head first and is really trying to provide great product for you, those of you who are overwhelmed with looking for a full bottle of something and you just want to get a little bit and decide if you love it before you decide to get a full bottle. She's really tried to diversify her portfolio in terms of what they offer on the website and boy do they have quite a variety. I was actually surprised, especially regarding how new they are. I think they just started up back in May. It's November now, so you know we're talking, it's been six months and they've, they've blown up. They have so many fragrances to offer. So they sent me about eight decants here. I'm gonna talk about just three of them, uh, only because these are the three that I've actually smelled before. And what I did was I took advantage of their fantastic selection. I decided to choose a few fragrances or more than a few, a handful of fragrances that I've been needing and wanting to smell for a long time. Some of them for several months, some of them for several years. So now I have them in decant form. They're all here in five mil decant form. They come in a variety of sizes on the website. I think they might have a two milliliter or a three milliliter. They have a five, I think they even have a 10. I don't remember the exact sizes, but I'll have it here on the screen. And they got some great prices as well, which you will see. And we're also gonna have a discount code for you. So stay tuned to the end to check that out. But uh, these are the three fragrances that I got from Decant X. What I love about how they do things is the labeling. Every fragrance has its own different colored label. Just to show you the variety here. I got eight different ones. All eight have a different color. That is amazing. So you can easily identify them by color, which is beautiful. So again, I'm just gonna talk about these three. And they are, I got um, basically two designer and one niche. I'm gonna start with this one, which I was really interested in, which is Dior Homme 2020. Yes, I'm late to the game. I'm just now smelling this one. I've actually given it a full wearing. I gotta say, I like this fragrance. When I first sprayed it, I was trying to not like it. I spent about a good hour just like, this isn't good. It's not the original Dior Homme. It's not it. It's no good. As it settled on the skin, as I started to get compliments with it, I'm like, you know what? This is good. It smells great. It smells super simple, but it doesn't smell low quality. We're talking about Francois Dimashi, who is the in-house perfumer at Dior. Whether he did this himself or whether he had, maybe he supervised his apprentice or someone else doing it, I'm not sure. But there's definitely some thought and craftsmanship in this very simple fragrance. It reminds me of the 2017 reissue of Dior Homme Sport, which I used to have. I don't have that one anymore. They took out the iris from that one as well, mostly based around citrus and sandalwood and some other, uh, maybe some spices in there. Uh, this one has that vibe. It has this sharpness, that like sharp, almost musky woodiness, which could be ambroxan or something that I got out of Dior Homme Sport 2017, but this one is it doesn't quite go in that direction. It smells nothing like the original Dior Homme at all. At all. Totally new, totally different, but also not really all that new. But it's actually nice, it's pleasant, performance was decent. 
and I'm glad I had a chance to sample it because of Decant X and I just, the presentation for me, if a sample has a good presentation, that actually determines how often I'm gonna go for it. I mean, this label is really well done. It's even, it's straight, which is kind of a small thing, but also a big deal. It could be crooked. They could not care about how it's put on. The lettering and everything is fantastic. You got the name of the fragrance. You have the concentration. It says made in France. It's really, really nice. So I'm gonna reach for this thing quite a bit. The second one that I tried, uh, this is a niche fragrance and this comes from the house of Nishane. I've only tested this one. I haven't worn it fully, but good Lord, this is beautiful. This is called 100 Silent Ways. Again, from Nishane. I don't remember everything that's in this. It is primarily based on some florals and some vanilla. Let's see, we got some tuberose. So you got peach, mandarin, orange in here. There's some gardenia, which is another white floral. You got some orris, which is the root of the iris, which can bring a little bit of a buttery creaminess to it. There's also jasmine. There's vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. Beautiful fragrance, lots of complexity. Some might call it a little feminine. That peach is so ripe in here. It's really nice, really beautiful. Definitely a transition season scent, spring and fall for sure. And the last one, which I actually just tried today on my hand for the first time, I've been interested in this one for a while, just mainly because of the name. It's from Yves Saint Laurent, it's called Jazz. Now, I'll be honest, if you don't already know, I am essentially a jazz musician, but I do have some thoughts and philosophies surrounding the word jazz as we use it today in the industry, and I'm not gonna go into that now, that's for another time, um, but I'm not really all that for the word. Again, topic for another time. But nonetheless, it's essentially an aromatic fougere, it's like a barbershop style scent, which I did know. It does bear a resemblance to, this is what it reminds me of, a mix between Margiela at the Barbers and Ralph Lauren Safari. It's a mixture of those two. You get that aromatic basil that you get out of at the Barbers, but it does have this almost, I think there's a leathery quality in here. This almost animalistic, it's kind of hard to describe. There's a funk, a very subtle vintage funk in here that honestly, I like it. I like it even more as it dries. Off the top, off first spray, I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It was just a little bit too sharp, but as it settled, it got really nice. And I wouldn't go out and buy a bottle of this stuff because it smells like two fragrances I already have, but I'm really glad to know what it smells like. It's a classic, and this is a fantastic way to check it out without having to go and blind buy a full bottle of it. Even though it may not be all that expensive, I think it, I'm not sure about that, but got this little sample. I can keep coming back to this as a reference. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Our first installment. I think we'll just call this where to buy samples. So Decant X, check them out. We will have a discount code for you. I gotta make sure it'll be active, but it should be stay fresh 15. You put that in at checkout, that'll get you 15% off some already fantastic prices. Check them out, support this business. They're brand new and they're really putting out quality stuff. So. Again, link down in the description. Stay tuned for more installments. Really appreciate you tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.